After a year apart, members of the 395th Ordnance Company are back with their loved ones tonight. Their plane landed at Outagamie County Regional Airport around 11:45 this morning. Then they were escorted back to their headquarters, where there was plenty of hugging and kissing as they reunited with their families after a year in Afghanistan. Jonathan Gregg is live at six with more on today's homecoming. Families and soldiers have been waiting a long time for this day. And even though deployments are made a little easier on families through cell phones and Skype, nothing compares to the feeling these men and women get when reunited with loved ones. Who needs words when a simple touch says so much more? Good to see you. A hand holding tight, a kiss on the lips. Sergeant First Class Steve Person married his wife Tiffany last year. We were married in June and um, he deployed in July. A three week long goodbye before her husband flew to Afghanistan. They kept in touch, you could say. Most of the first year has been on the phone and on Skype. But today, words can't describe. I just, I couldn't say anything. How happy. It was too good to see her. It feels to hold. Hold his wife again. The same goes for everyone. Give me a hug. <laughs> a hug can say it all to sweethearts, a father and son. I'm glad that uh, everyone showed up. It was a lot more than what I expected. Or sisters. <laughs> and she's back. Woo! Welcome home. Michelle Frost talked with big sister Jen Fazer during her months of deployment. Today, proof a phone will never be the best way to stay in touch. Without a doubt, it's to have them in your arms. A comfort words can't describe to be home at last. It's okay, I'm home now. Both soldiers and families were really at a loss of words once they were finally reunited. It was very emotional. It's been a long year of deployment for the 395th. And these soldiers are excited about being back home with their families and taking it easy, and they certainly deserve it. Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26.